Polls have shown that the three most important issues to British voters in the EU referendum are the economy, immigration and sovereignty. Economy Almost everyone agrees that international free trade is a good thing. If we vote leave, free trade between us and the EU would continue, as it is in the interests of both sides. We are the biggest export market of the EU, and vice versa. More importantly, by voting leave we could make free trade deals with huge markets like the US, China and India, which are growing faster than the EU and with which the EU has no trade agreements. The EU tariff wall makes it more expensive for us to import goods from outside the EU. If we vote leave, food and all kinds of manufactured goods would be cheaper because we could buy them at world prices with no tariff. The EU is a vast bureaucracy which regulates almost every aspect of our lives. The EU rulebook is as tall as Nelson's column. This benefits big corporations by making it harder for small businesses to compete with them. If we vote leave, we can eliminate many of these regulations and modify others to be more suitable to our economy, so that small businesses currently stifled could emerge and thrive, creating jobs and growth. Our government sent £275 million of our money to the EU every week in 2014, and it would have been £350 million if not for our rebate, which is not enshrined in any EU treaty. Less than half of our contribution comes back to us in the form of subsidies for farmers, university research and so on. If we vote leave, we could spend our money however we want, we could continue to provide these subsidies and we could use the rest to increase funding for the NHS or to cut taxes. Immigration No one disputes that many immigrants are hard workers that benefit our economy and enrich our culture. But all agree that we need some limits on immigration due to the strain it puts on public services and housing and the threat to security. Our current immigration policy, because of our membership of the EU, discriminates based on nationality. We are forced to accept immigrants from EU countries, even convicted criminals, which means we have to turn away skilled immigrants from non-EU countries. If we vote leave, we could end this unfair discrimination and instead prioritise immigrants with skills we need, wherever they come from, like doctors and nurses for our NHS. We would regain control over how many people are coming to work here, reduce total immigration if we wish, and decide for ourselves which benefits they should be entitled to and when. Sovereignty the EU has eroded our national sovereignty and parliamentary democracy. The UK political system is reasonably well understood by voters. UK politicians are well known to the British public. They have the power to make and repeal laws and they are elected so they are relatively accountable to voters. We can vote them out if we don't like what they're doing. None of this is true with the EU. The EU is anti-democratic, complex, secretive, with unelected and usually unknown officials making laws and regulations that our elected representatives have no power to repeal. The EU is a gravy train, employing 10,000 bureaucrats that get paid more than our Prime Minister, and it is a gold mine for lobbyists. It strips lawmaking power from member states and centralises it. Our influence in many international bodies is diminished by our membership of the EU. We have no seat at the table of the World Trade Organization, for example, instead being represented there by a single EU commissioner 
speaking for 28 countries. We have very little influence over the direction the EU takes. We are outvoted in the EU Council more than any other member state. Even with the threat of Brexit as a bargaining tool, David Cameron was unable to negotiate any meaningful concessions from the Eurocrats. Imagine how they will treat us if we vote to remain. To stay in doesn't mean to stay put. It means to stay on the conveyor belt, taking us towards more political integration, further territorial expansion of the EU, and further increases in the scope of EU activity. A vote to leave is a vote to step off the conveyor belt and decide our own direction, to restore our national pride, self-confidence, global influence and our openness to talk, negotiate and trade freely with the wider world, rather than being shackled to the stagnant and doomed EU. We'd be better off financially, culturally and politically if we vote leave on June the 23rd.